In March of this year, we received a phone call from our friend Clay Campbell, who called this situation to our attention and asked for our help in putting together a proposal to show ISC why they should keep two Sprint Cup races in Martinsville, and we gladly went to work on that important project. Later that month, Clay and I, along with Mark Heath and Delegate Danny Marshall, flew to Daytona to meet with ISC officials to make our case. We sought common ground to make the decision to keep two annual Sprint Cup races at Martinsville beneficial to both ISC and the Commonwealth. After some discussion over the ensuing weeks, we were able to reach such an agreement. And I'm pleased to report that our friends at ISC have agreed to assure that they will keep two Sprint Cup races at Martinsville Speedway for at least the next five years, and hopefully for much longer than that. Under the terms of our agreement, the Commonwealth, through the great work of the Tobacco Commission, has agreed to provide $1.5 million in matching funds to help ISC make at least $3 million in needed capital improvements at Martinsville Speedway. In addition, the Commonwealth through the Virginia Tourism Corporation has agreed to invest $200,000 in a marketing campaign for motorsports and NASCAR in Virginia to help promote our four annual race weekends that are held in Richmond and Martinsville every year. You saw the first part of that commitment last month when VTC announced that it would be the title sponsor for the Virginia is for Racing Lovers 300 late model stock car race here at Martinsville Speedway in October. The Commonwealth also agreed to fund up to $400,000 in local highway improvements to make travel into and out of Martinsville Speedway easier for NASCAR fans. That work has been underway and is almost complete and it will be done in time for the next race on October the 24th. And finally, the Commonwealth has agreed to work with Martinsville Speedway in developing a plan to help promote the use of this wonderful facility in many other ways and for many other purposes throughout the year. All total, the Commonwealth will provide over $2 million to help improve the Martinsville race experience and guarantee the generation of more than $375 million in local fiscal impact over the next five years. By any objective measure, that's a pretty good return on our investment.